I was never gonna be a man's physique. Didn't have much of an off season. I like his physique better. I'm always very energetic. I will have to put me as one of the greatest. Mr. Olympia was won by the back. Now, it seems like your mission in life now, it's all about longevity, right, and health. That's what really kind of like, from a few years back, that became your mission. Um, do you think it's possible, if you want to compete at the highest level, right, if you're going for the Olympia title in the current sport of bodybuilding, right, if you don't want to just be competing, but be actually at a top level, right, you top contender, can you really be healthy? Like, is, is, is bodybuilding on that level with health, or is it extreme sport, and we should just, you know, accept it? Listen. If you could be very healthy, you know, if you really know what you're doing. And like I said, you know, what, what's wrong with people, Vlad? People, if they're not in pain or laying down, they think they're okay. If they're not in the hospital laying down, they think, oh, it's okay. Dude, you know how many, first of all, food is the most addictive thing. So now you throw steroid on top of it. And uh, guys that they, they want to, you know, make their arm bigger or look bigger so they can look cute to the girls. Because a lot, of, a lot of them, they really like, you know, they have a problem. And that's why they get in the gym. You know what I'm saying? You know, let's face it. Seriously, everybody want to get big and stuff. It's, it's something, some mental that makes you feel good and stuff. But you throw all that stuff and on top bad food, dude, you're looking for trouble. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I'm, I'm so thankful, man. Like all my guys, you know, I'll make sure, hey, listen, man, before you do your diet, after you do even an off season, you can ask all these guys, you know, boom, 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 blood work, because you don't want something sneaking up on you and you don't know what's going on. And it's so funny, man. Like, I, you know, I don't like to mention names, but we know a lot of people, they, like, they were advocate about steroid and insulin and stuff. And they say, oh, it's the greatest thing. Well, guess what? Now they're having a lot of problems. A lot of them have a lot of problems. I have a lot of people that are coming to me, George, how can you help me? And you know what? It'll be my pleasure helping everybody. It will be my pleasure helping anybody with kidney problem or any other disease because I know how it is, man. When you're out and when you're down, this is very sad, very sad. Listen, my wife loved me. My kids adore me. But when I was laying in that hospital, life goes on. They had to go to school. My wife had to go see her patient. You know what I mean? Life goes on. When you're down and out, you're down and out. You know, my friend just died. He's a millionaire. He's 51 years old. Guess what? He have left three kids. His wife, is she going to die? No. Life goes on. You're the one who's going to suffer. So that's why I'm really like pushing health approach. You know what I mean? Like I said, I'm not saying don't take steroid. I'm not saying don't do, you know, certain things and don't go crazy. But at the same time, be smart. Check your blood work, please. I'm begging you. Check your blood work because this stuff can sneak up on you. Like I have so many guys, they come to me and I ask them, I'm like, dude, do you, did you realize that your GFR, you know, your filtration, it's only 40? What's that mean? That mean if you keep continuing what you're doing, you're going to be on dialysis before you're 40. You know what I'm saying? This just happened to one of my guys. It's just so sad. He comes to me new. I don't want to tell you whose coach he was in, but he didn't know any better. But you know what? It's not good, man. It's not good. I'm sorry. You know, I'm sorry. That's why we have to be careful. We have to be, listen, I love Milos. I love Chris. I love Dave. I love all these guys. Honestly, I have no hard feeling, but I want them, man. I want them to push, take our little brothers and the newcomers and teach them, you know, listen, man, look what happened to us. You know, if you didn't die, but you didn't see who died before you, you know what I'm saying? So please be careful. You know, let's let's preach the, the right stuff, the right approach. You know, we love bodybuilding. We want the freak show. But the freak show, listen, you're going to tell me Kai's not freak. I can put my hand on anything you want and swear to you. OK, that Kai never touched insulin. As long as I knew him, we've been 11 years together. Never, ever, ever. Do you understand what I'm saying? And he's walking 300 pounds, shredded. So you're not going to duplicate this because you don't have the genetic or you don't have the heart work ethic, you know, like Branch and all these guys. I mean, Branch used to have no genetic, but he proved to everybody hard work can make it. Guess what? Branch never took insulin. Never. I will never. 
You understand? I mean, I I'm feel, telling I like so many people are gonna like not gonna believe you for some reason. They they're gonna be quiet. dude. Listen I mean, to I, I me. Don't care. I don't care. Either, I but... swear on my kids that I'll these believe, guys. Believe, are yeah, I'm my kids, man. Mm-hmm. You know, and I'm not. I don't. There's no reason for me to lie. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Listen. Trust me. Give it time. The problem. Everybody wanna. They wanna build an empire overnight. It right. doesn't happen like this, man. Take mm-hmm. your time, you guys. I swear to you. He will be so much beneficial. You will see so much healthy. You know, then you, you then you'll understand what I'm talking about, man. Life is very important, you guys. You know, in the last in the last year, like it's a, it's it seems like almost every week a bodybuilder dies, right? Um, I don't want to say any names, but like you see guys die in their fifties, primarily or like late forties sometimes, sometimes sixties, you know. But um, without saying any names, do you think that has to do with what you're talking about with unhealthy lifestyle? Hundred percent, bro. Come on, man. You know we go back. Listen to me, okay. And I'm not talking just steroid. You know when you when I used to take like a certain injection and oh man, it swelled up and hurt. I used to freaking take Advil like candy, and all of a sudden I'm looking like holy crap, my kidney like terrible. You know what I'm saying? And on top of it, I was shot in my kidney. So everybody told me about 22 years, 23 years ago. You know, when I get shot in 2017, 22 years ago, they said, well, you're going to be going on dialysis. I said, what do you mean? He said, well, because you use, you know, Advil or whatever. And I used to like work out and deadlift at a time. And uh, so, you know, then I'm like, I didn't I didn't think much about it because, you know, you're young and you just want to compete. And but then when I made my comeback, you know, and I saw that my kidneys start deteriorating, you know, my my creatinine was like. From 1.4 went up to two, you know, all this because I dry myself and stuff. You know, I'm already shot and I have one kidney. I'm like, dude, I'm done. And it's so weird, bro. Like, you know, I was just actually talking to to people and I showed them, you know, from 2000, you know, from two year 2000 when I won the national till now, my creatinine at the same place. It's it's at the same place. The only time it went up, it's when I had the cancer. May God, you know, protect you all from that vicious disease. But honestly, thank God, like I, I have the knowledge and I know what to eat. And and it's not everything high protein and not everything a lot of sugar. You know, so you know, it, it you got it. You do. You have to be in touch. You have to be in touch with the reality. You have to do your blood work and check what's going on. Where are you heading? Because if I'm heading to disasters. You know, like a lot of people ask me why I retired early, because I don't want to do this anymore because I'm looking at my two daughters. You know what I mean? I want to be there for them. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I stopped competing. I can't I can't afford to dry myself and make my, you know, my my kidneys suffer more. So I stopped.